Hi guys and welcome to the final, the season 7 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And of course the other uh, 6 seasons had at the top. And this one, season 7 DVD collection. Right, the front cover is very nice. Um, got some script writing and it flows really well rated 15 turn it round 7 and of course Buffy the Vampire Slayer let's move on to the back first of all I'd like to thank everyone that has watched um, the previous six parts And here is the season overview. This is yet again such like an up and down season. Um, so much happens and it is just absolutely amazing. Here you go, I'll get in a bit closer for you so it's easier to read. Right, let's move on. Uh, six discs again all 22 season 7 episodes the episode commentaries five featurettes uh, Buffy raps and of course the outtakes and I don't mean the things that you eat yeah that that was a bit of a corny joke but still hoo ha Right, your total run time is 899 minutes and is in colour. Uh, it is 2.0 surround, the audio, and is of course in English. And on this one, for some reason, the subtitles are only in English. Uh, rated 15, contains strong violence, moderate horror, and sex references. Starting off with disc one, and that's with the first episode lessons. The second episode, Beneath You. Wow, to apologize, guys. The third episode, same time, same place. Sorry about it going out of focus. The fourth episode, help. And of course it's when Buffy, she becomes a counsellor, so that's on top of the slain as well. God, she must have a busy life. <laughs> the special features for disc 1 is commentary for lessons by Joss Whedon and David Solomon. And Willow Demon Guide by Rob, no, Rum? By Rum, Con no, 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 no. That is the rum content Willow Demon Guide. Sorry guys, I read it wrong. Moving on to disc 2 with the 5th episode, Selfless. Moving on to episode 6, Him. They are a good man. <laughs> And moving on to episode 7, Conversations with Dead People. This was really funny.
the eighth episode sleeper and the special features on disc two are commentary for selfless by drew goddard and david solomon commentary for conversations with dead people boy nick marak mark uh, Jane Epson, Drew Goddard, Danny Strong, and Tom Link. And moving on to disc three with the ninth episode, Never Leave Me. The tenth episode, Bring on the Night. The eleventh episode, Showtime. It's when things start to get really heated, uh, like in this season. The special features are 12 trailers, Buffy it's always been about the fans featurette. Moving on to disc 4, starting off with the 12th episode, Potential. The 13th episode, The Killer in Me. This was when Spike went down to the um, basement and he started to have things from his past catch up with him. And he had no hair gelling, oh dear. <laughs> the 14th episode, first date, when Buffy goes out with um, the new principal, Principal Wood. Yeah, I mean, I bet you've got wood too. <laughs> the 15th episode, Get It Done. The special features include commentary for The Killer in Me by David Solomon and Drew E. Greenberg. Another photo, yet again. Moving on to disc 5. And that is the 16th episode with Storyteller. This was really good. It's kind of a home movie type of thing because Andrew, he does his own thing and he does old drawings and everything. It's uh, quite funny. The 17th episode, Lies My Parents Told Me. The 18th episode, Dirty Girls. Despite Giles' deep misgivings, Buffy leads the potential slayers into battle against a powerful creature who has joined them. Who has joined forces with the first Kalik? I think. Yep. And the 19th episode, Empty Places. The special features are as follows Commentary for Lies My Parents Told Me. By David Fury, Drew Goddard, James Masters, and D. 
db woodside commentary for dirty girls by drew goddard and nicholas brendan good old nicky boy you are a master at being an actor mate disc six with the 20th episode touched The 21st episode, which is End of Days. It means the potential space their deadliest challenge to see if they're basically any good. And if I'm honest, it was an awesome season overall. But I'll get to that like in a minute. And for the final episode of the season and of the series, even though they continued on in comics, I think, even though I've never really read any of them because I can't get them. So that's unfortunately why I uh, couldn't really carry on. But um, <clears throat> So yeah, like episode 22 is chosen. The special feature, uh, spe special features, okay, I was about to say special featurettes. Hmm, <laughs> that worked. Uh, commentary for Chosen by Joss Whedon. Four featurettes include Season 7 Overview, The Buffy Full Circle, Buffy 101, Study in the Slayer, uh, Generation S. The Last Sundown, The Outtakes Reel, and of course... Buffy wraps. Yet yeah, again, a photo. Again. And that pretty much does it. Look at the lovely green. Right, moving on to the discs, and then I will give you my final thoughts. Moving on to the discs, let's get started. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is the first disc. Rated 12, got all the 20th Century Fox logos, DVD video, Region 2 PAL, Giles and Willow there, of course, Buffy the Vampire Slayer again, going in a circular motion, yet again, great photo art for the uh, discs. Disc 2 Spike and Xander Yeah, the uh, great Great team that they are Moving on to disc 3 and 4 Dawn, Willow, moving on to the fourth disc, whoops, really great artwork on the discs, complements the uh, case really well I think. Disc 5 And moving on to the final disc Whoops a daisy Disc 6 and yet again right the overall thoughts of seasons one to seven now I have to say that they are 
absolute awesome seasons all throughout. Um, definitely worth buying. Um, I got them from HMV when they were on sale for £15 I think. The episodes were done really 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 well. Um, the way they were done, the actors and the actresses who took part, they were absolutely awesome. Um, the like episodes, some of them had certain twists to it and how the plots they were done, they were pretty good too. Um, basically, like the end of every season, you had, you felt like you had to watch the next one, and it is such an amazing feeling. And you're like, oh my god, I gotta see what happens next. I gotta see what happens next. This show is definitely that. Um, I would say to anybody who is thinking about buying these, just go ahead and do it because you will not regret it. 